Hello, everybody, and welcome. It's July 2017, and I'm looking at a big body of water. Um, I wanted to make a quick video just doing a bit of an announcement about this project that I've been working on. Um, basically, I've redo redone the backyard pond. It's a more of a proper size pond now. Probably about 3,000 to 4,000 gallons. Um, it's about 13 foot by 13 foot. So from about this point to over there is about 13 foot, and from here to that corner over there is about 13 feet. Um, the deepest depth right here from the wall to the very bottom is about four and a half feet. Uh, it's very, very deep, um, with the sole purpose of this pond being to keep koi. Um, there's a lot of the reasons why we built it, at least why I've been building it. So let's take you a quick walk around the pond. So yes, I've been working on this for a few weeks, pretty much a month about at this point. Hand dug the whole thing. We do have a lot of other pictures and footage uh, from that, so that'll be that'll be a part of a full edited video. But this is just kind of a quick announcement. I just wanted to show you guys. Um, show you guys what's coming, what I'm going to be talking about. Um, I'm going to be doing that video probably in a few weeks. Uh, I really don't want to do it until this pond is at a point where I really want to show kind of like the finished project, or product, um, which it's not really at yet. We still need to do a lot of rock work. Um, that's really mostly what's left is rock work at this point. So we're going to be rock working the waterfall uh, skimmer. I'll do a walkthrough about the design and all of that stuff at the same time. Um, so yeah, looking really good. I just turned on the waterfall today. We just finished that up yesterday. Uh, so the silicone cure overnight. Um, and it was pretty late, and I wanted to make sure, sure I was ready to deal with any problems that we might I might run into. So. Um, but this is kind of the dry run, so there's no rock in here yet. I just wanted to make sure that the liner and everything is ready and that it was doing everything I wanted it to do. So yeah, it's really, it's really coming together. Um, really, really excited about this. I'm really excited to show you guys everything I've been working on. Um, so that's kind of why I haven't been doing as many videos <laughs> as recently. is because I've really been sinking a lot of man hours into this. Um, digging four and a half feet, um, four and a half feet down is a lot of work. <laughs> it's really quite insane, it's hard to believe it's really come together this far. Um, I think we're going to be getting some koi this weekend, or at least this week sometime. So let's get some rock work in, we got some koi in. Once it gets to about that point, I'll probably start putting together the proper video talking about this pond, or videos, there'll probably be more than one. So yeah, that's what I've been working on. A lot of other videos still to come. Uh, some aquarium projects inside I've been working on, I'm going to do some updates, and uh, time lapse video of one of my new tanks. So yeah. really coming together quite nicely. Um, I have been working on my blog side a bit more, and I kind of stopped doing that for a little bit, but I'm really putting a bit more work into it. I'm going to be a bit more active on there, um, and it's mostly going to be uh, posts about some of the videos that I've done, and other videos and um, information that I've, that I've found that I think is really interesting. Um, I spent a lot of time doing a lot of research, a lot of videos, a lot of digging on the internet for various things, and um, I wanted to kind of share that information with people, uh, bring it to light a bit more. So that's basically what I'm going to be doing a lot more with the blog site. Um, so you can kind of, that way, when you see my videos, you can kind of get an, about, get an idea about what I already know and some of the references that I've used when it comes to gathering information that I've 
then put into my aquariums and my videos and that, that sort of thing. That's mostly what it's going to be for. So if that's something you're interested in, I'd highly encourage you to check it out. So, there's the pond. So, if, you've, if you're familiar with my channel, the uh, that's the upper pond from the old pond. Um, that's still there. I haven't touched it. I really haven't touched much. Um, that's all still there. And over there is where we temporarily put the old pond. I think it looks really tiny now. Um, I'm going to be working on hiding this filter. It's not going to be easy. Um, we need to get some big boulders, so we're going to go on rock chopping. Um, sometime this week, we're going to be going getting a bunch of rocks, at least just to do the waterfall completely. Um, we'll see what we have uh, money for. So, What we're doing is pond on a budget. So... But yeah, it's really fun, really coming together. I'm really excited to bring this to you guys. Already, there's there's so much life and things I've noticed. There's been so many dragonflies. There's been a lot of dragonflies. Which I'm not complaining. I know the dragonfly larvae are actually notorious for eating small fish. Um, but at this point, seeing uh, some dragonfly larvae might be really cool. There's plenty of space. No lack of space for the dragonfly larva and some other fish to coexist in this huge pond, I hope. So. So, thank you guys for watching. Uh, as always, if you have any questions, ideas, or thoughts, leave those in the comment section below. You can check out my blog site. I'll link to that in the description. Check out some of my old pond videos. Um, if you're, this is the kind of thing you're into, you can kind of see what I've been coming from and the experience that I have with ponds. Um, so, I mean, I've been doing keeping ponds for over about three years. I think my old pond is about three years old. I think. So, yeah. Hope you guys have a great week, and I will see you guys again with a new video.